and welcome future Dolphins. Congratulations on your recent admission to our school. My name is Davia and I am a fourth year student here at CSU Channel Islands. Today, we will be highlighting art and here with us today, we have Professor Marianne McGraw from the art department here at CSU Channel Islands. Hello, Professor McGraw, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you so much for having me today. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, before we get started, um, please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the art program. Totally. Well, welcome, admitted dolphins. Congratulations on being accepted. What a huge and exciting achievement. Um, my name is Marianne. I'm the academic advisor for the art department. I'm a professor in the program. I'm head of the ceramics program on campus. And um, our art department, we have about 270 majors currently that encompass both our studio and our art history programs. Um, as far as the overall, to give a characteristic of our department, I was really excited to join this community because of what an interdisciplinary education it is. You know, if you think of the art world right now, we are rarely defined as painters or as sculptors anymore. You know, our practices are a lot more diverse. And here at CI, we really embrace and encourage that. And it's super exciting. Awesome, awesome. Um, this That sounds amazing. And um, with that being said, let's jump right into these questions. Hey. All righty. So our first question is, what are the most popular courses, minors, and options within the major? Totally. I think, you know, most of our majors are studio majors. And within the studio major, you have the choice of either picking a very direct route. Like if you want to come in and you want to be an animator, you can come in and really take courses that funnel you that way. You can also come in and be like, you know, I am more digitally, digitally inclined, but I'd like to study sculpture. I'd like to study, study painting. And you're able to pick and choose as you move your way up through the courses. And this is something that, again, because we're such an interdisciplinary program, you don't have to know exactly what you want to do when you come into our art program, which is pretty exciting. Um, you can make decisions along the way, see what interests you, see what you are drawn to and go from there. As far as um, minors go with our art majors, we have a lot of folks that minor in um, environmental studies, resource management. We have a lot of folks that minor in psychology and also education. So and we also, you know, the reverse of that, it's also we have a lot of psychology majors, um, and education majors and business and folks like that, that minor in art as well. Our, our studio minor and our art history minor too um, are really popular. And a lot of our graduates who are majoring in studio also minor in art history because it's a really, really complimentary program. There's just a few more um, courses needed. Our art history major is small, it's new. We only have about 20 majors in that focus right now but we have some amazing professors in that field and um, it's growing really rapidly. Awesome, awesome. Um, I'm, you are now informing me about our art history major, which I did not know about. So that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually really amazing. Um, so with that being said, moving on to our second question, you kind of mentioned that for those who may not know what they want to do, that they can just kind of jump in and figure out what they want to do. Uh, are there any type of academic background that a student should have to enter the major? I think the most important thing is being eager to learn. You know, I, to talk about my own educational path real quick, I was a biology major when I came into college and I had never taken an art course in my life and I had to take a fine arts credit. I took a sculpture class and I was like, hmm, this makes a lot more sense to me. And I completely change course. So you definitely don't have to be a practicing fine artist to come into this program. You know, having an interest, having being drawn to it, um, we really are, we pride ourselves on being able to have people walk into our department and build up a foundation upon which, you know, upon graduation, you're able to go out and into the professional field that you want to in the arts. So it's, it can be intimidating, you know, the art field, you have to feel like you have to draw like Michelangelo and things like that, but 
it's, it's really something that can be learned and can be taught and can be nourished. And the most important thing, this goes for whatever you're studying, I think, is you have to be interested and you have to be engaged. You know, if you are not enjoying what you're doing all day, the result of that is not going to be positive, you know? So um, that's a long way of saying like, no, you don't necessarily have to have a specific background. I think all of us who are making art are making art about the world around us and what's going on there. So if anything, if you have a strong interest in, in, you know, environmentalism and social justice in a particular aspect of history, you know, that's going to fuel your art and that's going to help inform it and help you communicate to your audience in whatever way you ultimately decide to do. Wow. I have no words. Speech was amazing. <laughs> uh, that's a great answer for those who may not know if art really is the path for them. So uh, that's, it's great that it doesn't matter what your background is. Uh, if you feel it, if you are passionate about it, then definitely pursue it. Um, Very true. All righty, moving on to our next question, which is um, considering that the art program is hands-on, considering it is art, um, what opportunities to participate in other hands-on learning uh, are available within the major, such as undergrad research, internships, or service learning? Mm -hmm. We have um, a lot of different opportunities, again, kind of depending on which field you want to kind of dabble in. We have a lot of internships that um, students get um, in the industry, in animation positions, in graphic design, things like that. We have um, we have a great program at CI where there we have a lot of funded research opportunities for students. So if there is something um, that you would like to try that we don't necessarily offer on campus, let's say you want to take a glass blowing class, if we don't have glass blowing here, we can write a proposal. You can have a, a professor support you and you can write a proposal to go to a workshop where that's focused on and bring that info back and kind of integrate that into your work. You know, as artists, our research is our creative practice. It's our, what we're creating in the studios, um, whether that studio is a computer or a ceramics lab or a painting lab. So um, it's really CI across the board does a wonderful job of supporting student research, um, both from, an on-campus localized idea, but also to fund opportunities beyond our campus. Um, service learning is something that we are also really proud of here at CI and different professors integrate that into their courses different ways. Personally, in my ceramics classes, I have my students make um, bowls. This is kind of our beginning wheel throwing class where they have to make 30 bowls that they then donate and we sell for $5 a piece out in the quad and we donate the um, money we raised to the Dolphin Pantry. So last last year we we raised almost uh, twenty five hundred dollars in three hours by selling bowls. So there's little things like that, um, but also in our capstone program, your capstone course is a course that you're required to take your senior year, um, regardless of your major. It's major focus, and you take it with a group of fellow seniors and. In the art program, we have we approach it that you're creating your first professional level. Um, work of art, you know, your first professional quality work of art. And that could be something that is, um, you know, in whatever field it may be. In our capstone classes, though, we ask that there's some sort of community service aspect into it. So we've had, we've had web designers create um, websites for nonprofits here in town. We've had students go to boys and local boys and girls clubs and make, create murals with the students. We have students design educational programs um, we have students that go out into um, retirement communities and do workshops um, for things like that. So it's it's a really, the capstone, I teach capstone and seminar occasionally too. And we kind of rotated amongst a few of us. And it's one of my favorite classes to teach because it really allows our graduates to get out into the world and make a difference doing you know, perfecting their skill, you know, while they still have the support of the faculty and the facilities here at CI. So yes, we have all of those opportunities and like anything else, you know, you kind of, you have to go after them a little bit. They don't fall in your lap, um, but our, our faculty here is incredibly supportive and very well connected and create a lot of opportunities for our students. Um, that is amazing. We love to hear about uh, hands-on learning experience, especially for those who work better with hands-on learning experience and then all the um, 
different programs that we do offer here and that are available within the art program. So uh, thank you so much for diving a little bit into that. All right, moving on to our fourth question. Um, what type of jobs do graduates seek upon graduation? Yes, so this is something again that very much depends on what you're kind of focusing on when you graduate. We have students that, um, a lot of students that obtain internships in the industry, whether it's in an animation house or a graphic design house or something like that, that get hired on after their internships. That definitely happens to a good proportion of students. Um, a lot of students go into other aspects of the industry, whether it's um, in set production or design or things like that. We have students that gone into costume design. We have a lot of students entering the UX and the UI fields, the user experience um, fields that is a kind of a new cutting edge design field that is really exciting and a lot of that our students are kind of interested in that way. Um, this kind of answers your next question too, like a lot of our students also go on to graduate school. So our, our students that are really looking to either have a fine art practice after graduation or to enter academia to be a professor and teach art or something like that, they, um, we encourage them to go on to graduate school. Some go immediately on to graduate school. Some go into post-baccalaureate programs, which is basically a year of study before graduate school. Um, currently, we have, we have students that just this year entered um, UCLA, UCSB, Loyola, Art Center, um, a lot of, we have Kent State University in Ohio, um, a couple of folks that went abroad, really something that they're very, um, our students are really active afterwards. And that's something that a lot of students take advantage of our seminar course that we use another, it's kind of a complement to our capstone course where we create, we kind of prep for a professional practice. We work on, on your portfolio, we work on your CV, we work on things like that. And a lot of times, We'll work on graduate applications depending on the interest of the individual students. So um, one of those, it's one of those again things that really kind of depend on your focus and your, your future professional plans. Um, but it's something that again, you know, one of one of my another favorite thing about this department is that every I can confidently say that every single one of our professors are, are actively participating in the art field in their particular field. So when you're learning to someone, it's someone who's exhibiting professionally, it's someone who is working in the industry or has worked in the industry for 30 years and has just recently retired. Like one of my colleagues, I was watching a, a movie with a Disney movie with my daughter and her, her all of a sudden the credits come on and there's her name, the second name that comes up as lead animator for this Disney movie. And I had no idea. So you're learning from folks that are actually doing what they're talking about and that they know through their own past, you're able to learn how they got to where they are today. Um, and then know that either, everyone's path is a little bit different, but it's all possible. I don't know if that really answers your question. <laughs> no, you, you were able to answer both of both questions four and five, I think pretty thoroughly. And um, that leaves us with our final question. Uh, is there any general advice that you can offer a student who is just beginning their studies at CSUCI? Yes, I think more than anything, take advantage of your professors. Every single one of us here, we want you to succeed so badly, especially in our current times where things are so strange and so unknown as far as the reach, you know, recent near future goes. Um, but ask us questions, let us help you. If you don't know, if you're not understanding something in class, reach out to us, you know, whether that's your email or a phone call. If you shouldn't have to wonder about your grade at any point in a class, you shouldn't have to worry about how exactly am I gonna graduate? You know, come to your academic advisors. We are here to help you. We wanna help you plan out exactly how to graduate in four years or to help you figure out what this best major is for you. Um, you shouldn't go through this um, unattended. <laughs> you don't have to struggle through this. We are here to help you on every different level. And one of my favorite things about CI too is that as, a, as an entire campus community is how supportive the community is for our students outside of the classroom. We have 
so much to offer our students as far as um, assistance, you know, from all different types of things, you know. So if you're having issues in the classroom, if you're having issues at home, if you're having some, if you're in need of some help, your professors are an excellent conduit to get you the help you need or get you the clarification you need or the answers. So you shouldn't have to wonder about anything like that. So take advantage of us, bother us, because it's not bothering. You know, we want to help you all succeed. Um, I 100% agree. As a fourth year, uh, without my professors, I would not be in the place I am now. I have formed the relationships with my professors that have moved from uh, academic relationships to professional relationships in professional settings. So it is very important that you form that relationship with your professors, with your faculty, with your advisors, even with your peers. So uh, I, appre I appreciate that advice. I know our future dolphins will definitely appreciate that advice as well. Thank you so much, Professor McGross. If you have any more questions about the art program, please visit go.csuci.edu slash academics. Bye, and we hope to see you in the fall. <laughs>